Please welcome on stage Johannes Stoy. Yeah. Thank you very much. This is a talk not about one specific showcase, but more about several showcases. We just want to show you, or we were asked to show you, what we do with um, Neos and Flow. Um, at us. <laughs> Christian <laughs> uh, at -ways, um, yeah. So let's go through this. Uh, just some information uh, to me. I'm a web developer at GBase for six, seven months, not so long, 29 years old. I'm a Tiger team member since a bit more than a year now. And I'm uh, triadly training for my first Ironman, but that's probably the more dangerous path compared to the newest development. <laughs> Um, okay, just some backgrounds to eBase. eBase Media GmbH is a company running the T3N products. We basically have two products. One is print, one is online. The print, um, oh, let's start with online. Online is a website you probably know. I hope you know it. If not, check it out. The URL is just there. Um, it's a news ticker uh, in the end, and we have around 30 news per day. So we have uh, pretty much editors creating news for all. Users. We love 3 million visits per month, um, a magazine archive online, and uh, member profits, and we're still improving, have some more ideas in that area. On the other hand, there's a print magazine. Um, we have four issues a year. You, know, you probably know it. There are, um, are almost 40,000 um, prints on each one, and we have over 13. 1,000 customers subscribed, and we sell it in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Okay, PHP is a big topic uh, at eBase. We are developing with PHP for almost over 11 years, so almost the full time the company exists. We um, realized over 100 projects, and our main topics are, of course, content management, single sign on shop, ERP, ad server is a big topic, uh, workflows, we are integrating a lot of APIs with external services um, and listing services. Okay, so I'd like to show you our projects. Um, I'll split it in two parts. There are some projects you probably know because you can see them, and there are a lot of projects behind the scenes you don't know we use internally. eBase has, just to say that, uh, around 60 employees right now. We're still growing, we're still searching, we're still searching for developers who have, <laughs> you like Neos and Flow. Um, and these are now the, the projects you probably know. Um, first of all, there is uh, our main website, T3N. This is a Symfony website. It was a Symfony website. We launched it on Monday on Neos. So this is a full relaunch as well as before. It was a Symfony website baked with some WordPress backend, but uh, I'll talk more about that later. Um, besides that, we also migrated all WordPress and some other stuff. So it was a big infrastructure update as well. It's everything is running now on PHP 7. And the fun part is that not Neos had the problems with the, with the going live. It's more the, the WordPress uh, site, which had problems at all. But this is now online. So if you are on T3N, you are provided by Neos. Um, as I said before, we have right now two, another, two other backends. These are two WordPress instances. If you are on T3N slash news, you are one news on one WordPress. So in the end, the, the single view is at the moment rendered by WordPress, but we will fix it. But this is just a, <laughs> uh, it's a bigger project because it's just a, a huge website and we have like 20, uh, 20 to 30 people editing news. and. It's a multi-step project, so the first, pro the first step was the, the, the website itself, and then the backend will switch as well. Um, yeah. Next one is T3N slash Firmen. It's a single flow application. So also this is um, uh, baked by flow. It's a standalone application. It totally integrates in our website. So this is not Neos. This is a a standalone flow application running for one and a half years right now. You can go there uh, at your company if you would like to see a company who is doing something with online marketing or whatever. This is a listening service. You can search there. You can, ent you can enter your own uh, company and we in integrate the stuff on our other services like websites. If there's an article about Facebook or whatever and your company is doing stuff about Facebook, you may be listed there. So, good thing. Next one, T3 and the slash jobs. 
it's not yet flow, but it's almost flow. It's a project we are actually running at the moment and will be released, and I don't know when, um, but we, this is the next one which will be released on flow. It's similar to, to jobs, a standalone application integrated on our website, and you can, um, can search employees there. Yeah. Yep. Next up, next up is the store. The store is also a single alone flow application, just as well as the other one. And the store is some kind of specific because um, it's a full checkout process. Um, whenever you create a company or you, you add a job or whatever, it will be linked to the store about another system. I come later to that. So every time you check out something or you buy a magazine or you order something, you will end up here. Uh, in the store. Next one, account. Account is some kind of special. We released this just on Monday with the NEOS release. It's a flow application and it's a standalone single sign on server we fully developed from scratch. We will make this open source. Um, not yet, not today, but in the future, this year, of, of course, um, we will try to provide this uh, as a working Docker container so you can just start your uh, single sign on server. Can add projects, we will provide flow adapters as well as WordPress adapters so you can just connect your applications and use it pretty easy. Yep. So, my God. Er will nicht, Christian. Battery. Let's go like this. This is what the ecosystem that you probably know looks like right now. You see two weak points, but as I said, we will fix them. Um, the main thing is that all our all our platforms are connected to each other. The the errors you just see is. I'd like to show you that the NEOS part is some kind of a content hub. We really see NEOS as a content hub, not just as some kind of a website. The website is just one presentation of our content. All our content which is created in the WordPress backend, uh, the companies, the jobs, whatever, will be synced or are synced to NEOS. And NEOS has some kind of a content API, so we can provide it out. Below that, there's a... Oh, uh, below there's a single sign-on -on server, and every project is connected to it. Thank you. <laughs> but you can stand there and just click for me. Commercial. Commercial. So this is our setup. White, no. Take it, take it or leave it. Dean or Dean? Dean. Okay. Yeah, behind the scenes, these are kind of projects you never seen before because there are no touch points for you. These are just internal software projects, and we have a lot of them. I don't, I won't talk uh, about all, just about some important stuff. And in the end, I'd like to show you how event sourcing helps us. Um, first of all, there's Booker. Booker is a campaign management tool. We have several departments in our company, and uh, Booker is one pr uh, app for. Um, for one department, they um, do some campaign management, check what, what ads are running good or not running good, which campaigns can we do on our website and whatever. Shipper is, um, a shipper is something we manage our um, shipment for our print magazine with, uh, all flow applications. The next one, the next one is a big one. The next one is Guru Manage. Guru Manage is a custom built ERP system, and this is pretty huge and pretty big. Um, yeah, all those are flow applications. Those are just uh, the bigger ones we have. We have some, some smaller ones, but we don't have that much time. Then there are two projects, Google Ads. Google Ads is a custom-built um, ad server. And there's uh, a project we're creating our print system with. Those are not flow yet, but we do plan to migrate them to flow or fully rewrite them. The print stuff will be interesting because we do plan to open source uh, software, and we have some prototypes and have some talks before. It will be a solution where you can create a magazine and articles in EOS, use the workspace feature to get the articles live, and then integrate it with InDesign, with a plugin, with an API, so you can arrange your article in InDesign and push it back to NEOS and then uh, plan your magazine and create the, the final print PDF. Um, sounds pretty hard, but actually it isn't, because InDesign is really uh, so, we have some concepts and prototyping, but 
we are working on that, but it's planned. We're not really starting it right now, but we have it on our mind, so we have some other stuff planned and a great roadmap. So when you use so many different systems, you might run into some challenges um, because every, every department has different needs. An editor has different needs compared to someone in the back office or to, compared to someone in the, in the social media team. So we don't want to build a big monolith. We want to use specific software for specific domains because they are totally different. Um, but system needs to be synced because you have some, some entities which are used on each system, of course. Um, and you probably have different scaling needs. The main website does a lot, need a lot more scaling than just a booker, which is an internal software where three or four, or four people are working on. So we use event sourcing to solve some of the problems. For example, this will be an example um, for the person entity. On the one side, there's Google Manage, our ERP system. And on the other side, there's Pipedrive. Pipedrive is a software as a service uh, software for our sales team. It's just some kind of CRM system to, to check all the leads and whatever. I'm not so into this, but they can do there. But they also work on persons because they, they phone to them and whatever. So the thing is, Google Manage is our core domain for the person entity. So everything that happens in the person with logic and everything should happen in Google Main. So we have an event store for the person, and in the Google Main is the master event store. So what could happen now is that in Pipedrive, someone did some changes, updated their phone number, whatever. What we did is in Pipedrive event proxy based on flow, based on the event sourcing package. So this is already productive. Um, the package Robert just showed before. So if there are changes, they will be synced to our event proxy. What the event proxy does is writing the events in a separate event store for the person. This acts some kind of a slave compared to the event store in Google Manage. Um, now there's a process manager in the event source uh, driven. Event source driven. Uh, there's a process manager and will process those events. And in this kind, it will process the event to an API to our Google Manage. This can fail, also failures can happen, and the process manager will take care of them. So in the end, a change in pipe drive will be synced over the event proxy in the event repository back to Google Manage and end up in the master event store. Um, of course, the other way around is also possible. So if someone in the events in Google Manage updated a person, it will be synced to pipe drive, event proxy, and this will be synced to pipe drive as well. So this is just a pattern we append to combine multiple projects with the help of event sourcing. What we do achieve with this is we have a loosely, uh, loosely coupled systems. We also are able to use different tools for each specific domain, which is really important because we don't want to build such a big monolith. It's easy to integrate uh, in the end with third-party applications. We have eventual consistency for all systems up. Um, another big part is history. We can see what happened to the person model, probably, or, uh, probably in, in which system uh, did, did someone change the phone number or whatever. And uh, speed boost within the application itself. Google Manage was a lot faster after we applied this pattern because uh, of the use of read models. Okay, my time is over. Just uh, if you have some questions, get in touch. We have, uh, I have two things I'd like to uh, announce or tell you. We created the PHP user group in Hannover. The is is uh, based in Hannover. Uh, on 10th of April, we have Marco Heimeshoff there. He will talk about DDD, uh, CQS, event sourcing, and so on. So come over, get a beer, check out our office. A pretty great office, by the way. Uh, every second Monday in every second Monday each month, we will have the PHP user group. Um, in our playground. And another one, uh, the 12th of April, the meetup, the first need, uh, NEOS and uh, Flow meetup in Hannover at Transfor Transformationswerk. In Hannover, I'll talk about the NEOS case. So our website, if you like more information, just ask me here or come to the meetup. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs>